Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dropping mechanism for the Phantom Series drones. I looked into this and I couldn't really find anything good on YouTube. Uh, there's three options basically. You can either do the $200 buy like a flea flea thing. You can rig up a complicated mechanism with servos. Actually, I'll have a later video on that if you want to do that. And or you can do the simple slide to drop mechanism where basically if you go forward or backward, it'll slide out and fall and drop. So the I'm doing the third one, but I couldn't find any good videos on the third one. They either didn't work correctly or they were metal and screwed with the compass. Actually, I, I made one and I almost crashed my drone because it screwed with the compass. So uh, I came up with my own one and that's what I'll be showing you. Okay, here's how we're gonna make it. Uh, first, we're gonna get our pens. We're going to pop off the top of the caps. Make sure you save the caps. Get our pliers, and you can pull out these or you can just use your teeth if you want. Uh, as far as the back caps, I just like to squeeze it on the back and it'll pop out. And then same for this one. Okay, so um, now that you've got your two pens, uh, move all this aside. Don't need any of that. So you're going to take these. Uh, and now what you're going to want to do is just simply tape them together. That's a good size strip of tape. Just simply put it right there. Give it some tape. We'll add on a little bit more. A sec. Grab one more big strip of tape and you're gonna lay it over. And if you want, you can tape over the entire thing, but I just like to tape in the center. That way it doesn't make the whole thing super bulky. Okay, so now you've got it in the center. What you'll notice is that it flexes a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our skewers and we're gonna cut these down, each of them in half. So grab your scissors. Cut this one in half, and then you're going to cut this one in half. So now you're just going to simply grab three of them to do, three longest ones, line them all up, and then you're just going to kind of get them so that they're all lined up inside the pen, and now you can push them in, it's a little bit of pounding. Now, after that, you're just going to take your last one and you push them in a little bit further just to make sure that they're in the center. Okay, now as you can see, it still flexes a little bit, but not nearly as much. Uh, nothing over two pounds, or nothing under two pounds is going to really make it flex too much. Now that you have your main pole, or whatever you want to call it, you're going to line it up with the drone and you're going to cut it down to size. So uh, go ahead and grab your scissors. I'm just kind of guessing I'm not going to make any marks. It'll be fine. And then we have our other side. Same thing. Take it right here. Cut it down to size. This one's tougher. Yeah, take note about which uh, kind of pen you use. Pretty tough. Okay, this, that's why this one has the skewers in it. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm just going to make that a little smoother. And now, as you can see, it lines up with the drone perfectly. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your scraps and you're just going to cut it down to a small-ish length. I'd say that's, because you don't want it, you don't want it to have too much of a distance to slide. You want it to be a short distance so that you know that it'll fall out. That's probably good. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut down the center. Okay, 
So now that you've cut down the center and you've got your thing right here, we want to flex it open a little bit, I'd say, so that you can open it up enough that the clip will be able to slide through. So maybe a little bit more. Bend it open. Okay, that's probably good right there. Okay, so now what you're do, gonna do is, so now that you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and grab your hot glue, and you're gonna dab it in the middle right there. Okay, you wanna try and get as close to the middle as possible. Uh, you don't have to do anything special, but just try and eyeball it as close as you can to the middle. Okay, make sure that it's straight down. Make sure that the cut is aiming straight. Okay, now that we've done that, uh, we're gonna wait for it to dry and we'll see you in a second. Okay, so now that you've got this and it's dried, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your pen caps and you're gonna wanna put them on just a tiny bit, not too much, like that much, just so that they're a tiny on there. And you're gonna bend this back. And then you're gonna put it on a tiny bit. Okay, bend this one back. Put it on a tiny bit. And now, once you get it all lined up, you're just gonna take it out. Put a little bit of glue in. Make sure that you don't put it all the way on because then it won't fit unless you did measure, unless you measured it so that it'll fit that way. So now that we've got our glue, I'm gonna push it on a little bit, and it once it dries, we will be able to put this on. So, put a little bit in this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, push it on, and then make sure that they're both lined up. There we go. Okay, so now while this is drying, we're gonna want to create the piece that actually holds our item. So go ahead and grab your string, pull it out, and your paper clip. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bend out your paper clip so it's straight like this. You're gonna wanna take your pliers and you're just gonna wanna bend the tip just a tiny bit and Make sure that it fits into here. So go ahead and bend it down like this. Pinch it. Okay, go ahead and crimp it down with your pliers and bend it forward like that. Okay, so now that you have it like that, you're just gonna wanna make sure that it holds and it won't pull down so again we got to make it a little bit wider so we're gonna just bend it back out and it's kind of trial and error till you get to the right size so now we have it bent back out a little bit there we go so now it won't slide out but when we go backwards with a little bit of pressure it'll come out so go ahead and grab this you can kind of straighten out as much as possible. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut it right about here. And this is such a small amount that it should not interfere with your compass. Okay. So we got our piece right here. Um, so now that you've done that, grab your pliers and you're going to want to make a little eyelet that your string can go through. Go ahead and pinch it down again until you've gotten okay, almost there. Okay, so now we have our eyelet. Go ahead and bend it so that's straight down. It's not curved or anything. And then OK, 
Okay, there we go. Now we're just gonna grab our string and we're gonna go ahead and loop it through. And tie it off. Um, best knot for this is probably a square knot, so right over left, left over right, and there we go. So now, if we get this right here, basically this little pin will go in, and once it's in there, when we pull down on it, and when the drone goes backwards, it'll just pop out and fall. So, okay, so here's how it works. Whatever you wanna drop, you're gonna tie to the string. So we just tied this water bottle, just for demonstration, as a weight, because it will not work if it doesn't have weight. You need a little bit of weight. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna slide it into here. Now, when you do the drone and you go a hard backwards, it'll just slip right out. So, as far as attaching it to the drone, it's pretty simple. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take these and you're gonna clip it on, clip it on the other side. It'll pull the legs together, that's good. It means it's secure. It's not really gonna slide around too much. And there's two ways to launch this since these stick down a little bit past. You're either gonna have to hand launch it and clip it in, or what you're gonna have to do is you're just gonna have to launch it in grass where it the grass will sink down and allow it to launch. So uh, let's go do some tests.